in this organic conversion, I'm going to convert 2-propanol to 1-propanol. The formulas for the two products are written here. 2-propanol is a secondary alcohol and 1-propanol is a primary alcohol. So the objective is to convert a secondary alcohol to a primary alcohol. As usual, we will start from the products and see how we can change the reactants to the products. A primary alcohol can be prepared from an alkyl halide using nucleophilic substitution reaction. That's what we're going to do here. So if you want one propanol, if you can prepare one bromopropane or one chloropropane, you can easily convert that to one propanol. And we know that we can prepare a haloalkane or one bromopropane from an alkene. And obviously, the secondary alcohol can be converted to an alkene. So let's see what how we can proceed. First thing we are going to do is convert one bromopropane to one propanol. This is performed using sodium hydroxide. The Br is replaced by OH and this reaction is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. So if you need one bromopropane, we have to prepare it from two propanol and we cannot do it in a single step. So what we normally do is convert two propanol to propene by dehydration and then change propene to one bromopropane using anti-Marconikov addition or peroxide effect. So the next step is converting propene to one bromopropane and that reaction takes place in the presence of benzoyl peroxide or because of peroxide effect the bromine gets attached to the first carbon atom giving you one bromopropane. If a benzoyl peroxide was not used we would have obtained two bromopropane which is not the desired product in this reaction. Hence we go with the peroxide effect. And to perform the peroxide effect, we needed the alkene, which can be prepared from 2-propanol by using concentrated sulfuric acid when we have a dehydration reaction, which removes a molecule of water. And that's an elimination reaction. So that's how we can convert 2-propanol to 1-propanol. So once again, if you start with 2-propanol, we use concentrated sulfuric acid, dehydrate it, perform an elimination reaction, and obtain propene. Propene, when treated with HBr in the presence of peroxide or benzoyl peroxide, gives you one bromopropane as a major product. And one bromopropane can undergo a nucleophilic substitution reaction to, to form one propanol. That's how you convert 2-propanol to 1-propanol or convert a secondary alcohol to a primary alcohol. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.